What's up, everyone? It's Tyler here with Dot Esports, and today I'm joined by Licorice off of his um, first win in like a couple of games now with uh, FlyQuest. Uh, it was a really good win. Look, really, really decisive. Uh, it's great to talk to you again. Yeah, no, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, so let's talk about that last game, actually, because um, like I said before, uh, you guys were on a little bit of a slump. Obviously, it's the first couple of weeks of the split, but um, how does it feel to finally get off uh, get this uh, this this win off you guys' chests, and how did you guys feel about your performance today? It definitely feels good to win. Um, I think our first couple games have been, I mean, I guess like TSM is actually like, like one of the weaker teams, but like the teams that we've been playing so far have have been like on the stronger side, mm -hmm. and I think it's like a really it's like really important for us that we get these wins against the teams that are lower in the standings because like we think we're like a middle middle of the pack team right now, and like this this kind of result kind of reinforces that that thought process. Okay, okay. Now, um, like you said, uh, the strength of schedule that you guys had, you guys faced against like 100 Thieves, EG, Team Liquid, and these guys are all like, have shown are, like they're really, really, really tough. So um, how have you guys been kind of like, like how has the team mentality been in terms of uh, facing these types of teams and losing against them? And how are you guys kind of regrouping after those losses to kind of get, like, get a performance like this today? The mentality has been pretty good. Like, I mean, I think even if you're the top team right now, your focus should be on like just improving, like taking what you can from every game and making sure that you're going to play a better game the next day, be it in scrims or solo queue or, or like if you have another match like like we do tomorrow. So mm. like it, it's really just about improving at this point because even if you're the best team right now, if you stayed the same, you would be pretty bad by the end of spring. Yeah. Um, now, this is like the first time we've talked this this year, I think. I think it is the first time we've talked this year. So I wanted to actually get your perspective because this is a completely new team for you, um, completely new set of players, uh, a lot of players that are new to the LCS. So um, for you, what are your goals for this spring split and going beyond for this team? Um, I think it's really hard to set, like, um performance goals with a team like this where like we want to get like this place or we want to mm. make it to a certain point in playoffs because i think like i don't know like if you if you make it to quarterfinals and playoffs you're gonna want to go to semifinals and if you make it semifinals you <laughs> want to go to finals and yeah, if you're yeah. in finals like you're not you're not happy losing in finals yeah you're so, traveling, yeah. yeah like it, it for us it's just really about improving every day and i think we have a strong group of players and by the end of the year we could really be like a top team and a real contender Awesome. And, like, that's kind of what I'm looking to. Okay, okay. Now, speaking of which, you said that, you know, like, um, it's a process. It's a growing process right now with this team and for a lot of teams in the LCS. But um, I feel like you might – this is, like, the first time that your role on a team has kind of shifted. I wanted to get your kind of thoughts on what your role is with, within this roster right now and how you've had to kind of adjust your play style both – play style and kind of mentality towards the game now that you've kind of changed your situation from going from cloud nine to a team like FlyQuest. yeah for sure i think when any player joins a new team there's always like like your teammates always cover like at least a couple things for you so you you have to like figure out like where your gaps are from your old team because like it's like you're playing as a team you're a cohesive unit like mm. the most um the easiest one to point out would be like last year Niski did all the summoner timers. He did like the Doin B where he like control copied, control pasted, and spammed <laughs> the chat with it. Yeah. So now I'm like, wait, like you guys I have to I have to do that? <laughs> like you mean like if he flashes, I have to I have to like type something? Like what are you <laughs> talking about, man? Yeah. Um so there's like definitely that aspect of it of like the like there's some team responsibilities that I have to pick back up and like especially with newer players, I think if I was actually just to take Niski's role and do that that would probably be good for the team mm. i'm still i'm still not sure if i want to do that because uh it's, yeah. it's a lot of work but <laughs> um <laughs> like i don't know i think it's like a good opportunity to like start from square one and like go back to the fundamentals and kind of improve your play from a more holistic standpoint because i think like when you're a top team it's always about like these little tiny little micro improvements you can make and now i have the opportunity to just like start start all over and i think that's really nice Okay, okay. Now, looking at the roster, right, we have a lot of, like we've mentioned before, newcomers, guys that are 
kind of coming into the league with a fresh face, but you're pretty, you're one of the more experienced players on the team in terms of the LCS. Um, would you say that there's kind of like, like, are you kind of slotting in as a, a bit of a more mentor role for some of these players? Like, are they looking to, to, to learn from you in a bit? Like, how has the relationship between you and your teammates been so far? Or is it kind of just like, you're all together, one group learning together? It's, it's always going to be a bit of both, right? Like, I am the most veteran player on this team, and I have the most LCS experience. But at the same time, like we are just we're like five dudes. We're a team. We're playing. We're playing the game together. Dudes, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't. I'm not going to extrapolate on that one. Um... <laughs> five dudes playing league, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's yeah. fine. That's fine. Yeah. Um, and like I don't know. Like I'm I'm leading where I can. I think the transition from academy to LCS can be quite hard because often there's like a bit of a knowledge gap actually between LCS and Academy more so than skill is mm. like, at least what I found when I transitioned over that, like, like early, early when I was a rookie, I was having no problems in the lane phase, but then come playoffs, I'm like a wreck because I like don't know where to go when the game isn't just like fighting all the time. Mm. So like, I, I kind of expect to have to help people along with like their, their macro knowledge and how we want to play the game together. And I think that if I do a good job of that, then it should all flow pretty smoothly. Okay, okay. Sounds good. I mean, um, but speaking... Now now I wanted to look a little bit more out, like outside the game because we all know that you can be really, really good players, but the way that you get along off like off the rift, basically, is super important as well. And I, um, are you guys playing from your from your specific homes? Or, like, you guys are playing from home, right? Or Yeah, so we, we are playing from home. I think it would be really really good for us to make the shift to play in an office and i know like obviously there's there's a reason we're playing at home it's like covid is a yeah, real thing yeah but at the same time like just from a purely team standpoint i think that it would only be good for us to play to play together in an office and get that like actually like human interaction that sure. is kind of missing when you do like discord calls or mm -hmm. zoom or whatever okay so like right now how have you guys been kind of like bonding as a team is it just like discord calls playing solo queue together some games or something or how have you guys been yeah that pretty way? much like we scrim together on discord and then we play solo queue together on discord and like, that's, <laughs> that's pretty much it right now so right. i think like putting putting more energy into that area or like being able to put more energy into that area would would be really good for us okay 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 um now speaking about new players we have one guy that i wanted to kind of uh, get your opinion on and focus it a little bit on uh, Jose Diodo, uh, hype jungler coming over um, from his game so far. Uh, what have you seen that is like really caught your eye that says, "Man, this guy can be something special." I mean, Brandon. I, I, I call him Brandon. Just <laughs> teammates, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> just, just like it, it's not, it's not the most um, intuitive name to summer name transition. <laughs> but his name's Brandon. But anyways. Mm. Um, like Brandon, he's like a really, really motivated guy. He like deeply, deeply cares about winning all the time, wants to be the best. And I think like this skill is totally there. And like I said with some of the other guys, like as soon as he gets his like game knowledge up a little bit, he'll be super strong. And even having said that, like I think he already is doing a really good job of like leading the team almost like i wouldn't say he's like the team leader but i would say like he's definitely like a strong voice in our team dynamic already all right well that's good to hear that's good to hear now um coming up to time but i wanted to ask you because tomorrow big match right mm -hmm. cloud nine um how excited are you to finally face off against your old team and how much more would this win mean to you knowing that you know you played with them for so long and now you're you're on a new team. Like, how much would it mean to you to beat these guys? Man, <laughs> I mean, like, it'd be fun, you know. Like, I I hate losing. I enjoy winning. I would hate losing to my old teammates. But at the same time, like, it's it's early spring split. I like don't. If we win now and lose in playoffs, then that sucks. If we lose now and win in playoffs, I like that much better. Um, so I don't know, like, I hope that we just play a good game. And I think like that, that's kind of where my mind's at going into the match. Okay. Okay. And final question, uh, any kind of 
messages, early messages for any of the fans that are looking at this team? Because I'm really excited to see this team because of all, all the new players that we're seeing that coming into the LCS. But um, what kind of message would you like to say to the fans that are looking to support the Bees for the rest of the spring split? Yeah. Um, I mean, first, thanks so much for the support, uh, especially the support for the Bees, because Bees are really important, mm -hmm. you know? Um, <laughs> and... I don't know, like it's it's probably gonna be a bumpy ride, but hopefully you can cheer for us the whole way and hopefully we'll make you all proud. Awesome, awesome. Okay, well, uh, I think that's all I have for you today, man. Thanks for sharing some of your thoughts on the season. It's great talking to you and uh, thank you viewers. If you want more in-depth LCS coverage and interviews, please subscribe to the Dottie Sports YouTube channel. We'll check you guys next time.